As new challenges to abortion rights make headlines nationwide, we're learning for the very first time the identity of the child at the center of Roe v. Wade. That's the landmark Supreme Court case that secured a woman's legal right to have an abortion. Back in 1970, Norma McCorvey filed a lawsuit under the name Jane Roe, asking to end her pregnancy. Now, she gave birth before the final court decision. The child known as the Roe baby was never publicly identified until now. Her name is Shelley Thornton. She is sharing her story with journalist Joshua Preger for his upcoming book, The Family Row, an American story. The Atlantic magazine released an excerpt from the book this morning. Thornton described her complicated history with her birth mother and the burden this secret has been. She is the youngest of McCorvey's three daughters. Melissa Mills is the oldest. Jan Crawford spoke with Melissa Mills in an interview you'll see first on CBS Mornings. You know, that's one thing I think most people, when you think about Roe versus Wade, m people don't think about who Roe is. And, and sh your mom never had an abortion. She never had an abortion. Mm -mm. No, she had, she had Shelley before the abortion law passed. Um, yeah, quite a bit before, I think. And um, they didn't even call her. Mom didn't even know that the abortion law had passed. They didn't even include her on any of that. So she really, she wasn't involved in hardly any, they didn't want her to be. They said she really wasn't the, the type of person that they needed, for, even though they used her case. That she didn't present well. She didn't present well. She was uh, kind of a rough talking, rough, rough talking. living. Mm -hmm. But you know, Jane Roe means so many different things mm -hmm. to different people. To different people. What is... Norma McCorvey mean to you? It's my mom. We'll have more of Melissa Mills' first TV interview tomorrow morning. The author of The Family Row, Joshua Prager, will join us live on Monday.